What's up, Duelists? Your boy is back with another undefeated deck profile from YCS Las Vegas. Today, I'm going to be playing Gabriel Glares, a.k.a. Monster Gamer. You may know him. He's won an RBET, just very powerful duelist, uh, pioneer of hybrid black wings. You know the vibes. Um, he won a side event at YCS Las Vegas this last weekend with X Sabres, and it's a pretty sweet list. I'm going to be testing it out. I'm going to be playing it. Uh, live and if you guys like this list and you want to test it out in a competitive event this weekend is actually the first rbet online of the season it's going to be starting at 7 a.m pacific on saturday signups open this friday the rbet will take place in the really big Yu Gi Oh discord in the description below so if you guys want to play in that make sure you're joined in the dis description the, the Yu Gi Oh discord joined in the discord in the description i can't even speak you guys get the idea Make sure you're joined, okay? Come through, come play. It's free to enter. Anyone can play. It starts at 7 a.m. Pacific on um, Saturday, and signups open this Friday. And it's it's usually a lot of fun. Usually there's a lot of players, and you know it's usually kind of like the the big Edison thing that happened. You you know what it is. If you were watching this, you know what it is. Let's get into the deck profile. So this is his deck profile. By the way, if you do want to watch him talk about the deck and hear his thoughts, I'm not just gonna parrot them because. I watched it with the sound off so that I wouldn't just parrot them. But if you want to hear the person who um, created the deck, Gabe's thoughts on this, you can check out Playtest IRL and drop my boy's subscription. Playtest IRL is doing a lot of great coverage of the format, so check him out. Anyway, um, yeah, so basically, what was I talking about? What was I talking about? Oh, the deck list. The deck list is like a combo savers build. It's not like a grind savers deck like some of the last ones that I've been playing recently. Um, and it plays Rescue Cat, plays the full three Fall Troll and three Gotham's Emergency Call, as well as three Upstart Goblin to try and find the combo pieces and set up for your big power plays. I think this list looks really interesting. Something that I find really interesting is the level limit, the Swords of Revealing Light, and the Call of the Haunted all in the main. Swords of Revealing Light is an underrated card in Edison format. I think it's actually pretty strong, especially in a deck that can make Bryonic quite easily. You can kind of just put your opponent in a position where they just can't attack you for six turns, which is pretty nuts. Um, also, I think that that is interesting to have the level limit as well. However, the level limit can be used as just like a like a jank way to switch something to defense to get your full helm plus. So it's like a fifth book of moon in a way, but it can hit a whole board. It's like it's like a weird regeki in this deck. I don't know how to describe it. It's really strong. I think if this card was at two or three, X Sabers would probably be a tier one deck that's how powerful i think level limit area b if you could draw this a little bit more consistently it would make this deck tier two or tier three like or sorry not tier two three like tier two tier one something like that uh just off the back of this card alone because the games where you draw this card versus the games you don't it's it's a pretty big difference and so upstart to dig into those power cards is is pretty important morphing jar in the main uh really interesting generally speaking you don't want to morphing jar and draw into multiple air bellums so I'm curious if this is something he actually liked. Once again, if you want to hear his thoughts, watch the deck profile on it. Um, but <coughs> yeah, I I don't really know. I, I it's it's a busted card. Obviously, it's very very strong. But I don't know exactly how it works when you've got the cat or bellum stuff that you really want to leave in deck. Um, it's got Sangin to search monk, monk to search cat. Main deck is pretty straightforward. Outside of that, Cold Wave in the main, no Trunade in the main. So this is an interesting choice. I think Trunade works well synergistically with Call of the Haunted Level Limit and Swords of Revealing Light. Naturally, Trunade is much better with those three cards than Cold Wave is. But Cold Wave is, I think, a little bit more powerful with the power plays that your deck is trying to execute. Uh, more notably, the Hyunle, Cold Wave into Hyunle, or Cold Wave into just make any synchro is pretty busted because it means that they can't come back on their turn with something like Burial, Brain Control, um, any sort of heavy storm nonsense that sort of stuff basically they can't set more back row to deal with your synchro you're they're just kind of like locked out for a turn which is definitely more broken and i think that that's enough merit i think cold wave is really awkward with three upstart goblin in the main because you're going to have turns where you need to upstart into a sweeper and you'll upstart into cold wave and you can't play it so i think that that's really awkward but other than that i think it's it's just so powerful that you know you do play it Sideboard looks pretty straightforward. The extra deck is where things are really interesting. He doesn't have a lot of extra deck space. You'll notice no level 5 synchro, so no Cataster, which I think is interesting. 
um, and also no Chimera Tech, which is interesting as well. I do know that Double Arm comes up a fair bit, especially when you're playing stuff like Level Limit, but no Cataster is definitely an interesting choice, especially when he's elected to include Ancient Fairy Dragon. That is something that, like, um, I don't fully understand. I don't see how Ancient Fairy Dragon comes up in this deck as much as Cataster might. The biggest thing that I see um, needing a level 5 for is just being able to brain control or mind control a dupe frog and synchro with it. I think that that is the biggest reason why I would want a level 5 in the extra deck over possibly this Ancient Fairy Dragon. I don't know if this card would ever really come up um, more than Cataster would. Uh, and definitely with the Cyber Dragons in the extra or in the side deck, Chimera Tech somewhere might be nice. Maybe could fit it in the sideboard. Like there is a significant amount of backyard or not backyard, <laughs> backyard, back row hate. <laughs> he's going in your backyard. He's like lighting your lawn on fire. He's got five pieces of back row hate here, and then in the main deck he's also got an additional three. So this gives you eight pieces of back row hate. Maybe you could cut one of those for a Chimera Tech. I'm not really sure. Uh, anyway, let's just try and find a game. Let's just play it. Let's just see what's up. I mean, obviously he went undefeated with it and. That's the vibe, you know? Um, if you can go undefeated with it, maybe you're cooking. Maybe there's something, maybe there's a hidden synergy that we don't know. Lately, I've been thinking a lot about hidden synergies, synergies that are not obvious. You know, there's ob there's obvious synergies, right? Like Light Sworn Monster and Wolf. <laughs> like, obviously, that is a, an obvious synergy, right? But then there are some, like, not so obvious synergies, like X Saber, Full Helm Knight, and Level Limit Area B. Like, well, th that's a little bit more obvious, but. Um, what the fuck is this guy talking about? What? What is, what is he asking me? I'm playing D fission. Why would I? Why? Why me? Why would he? Why would he ask this question? That is such a strange question. <laughs> That's confusing. <laughs> I'm confused by this. I feel like this is an opportunity to swing with Emmer's Blade. If it runs into Torrential, cool. If it runs into D Prism, we'll book it. Oh, looks like it's just gonna e exist and happen. I'm gonna set Upstart Goblin. I know this seems really weird, but like, I don't think Upstart Goblin is better. Okay, please hit the Upstart. <laughs> please hit the Upstart. Nice. Nice, baited. Baited, yeah, I was gonna say, I think my other cards are better than Upstart Goblin. So if he like, okay, this is Grand Mole. Do I care about this though? I don't think I care about this that much. Okay, he's gonna set two. That is a little annoying. I mean, I can just bounce it, right? Like we can just bounce this guy. Why did he ask if I was playing defuser? I, I feel like that's that's the new meta. Just ask your opponent like an insanely confusing question and then just like, that's the vibe, right? We'll summon Ember's Blade. If he torrentials, then I can just ragged girl it back. I don't know, this is not great. Our hand's not great. I One for one with the Regigura in hand is really awkward, but we could possibly get to a situation. You know what I mean? Get to a situation. He's definitely playing like some type of fucking Starlight Road. He set two on the first turn of the game, right? Or maybe, maybe not. Maybe we can just go Hyunlei and force a Solemn. I kind of like that idea. Let's see. Yeah, this could be cool. I mean, fuck it, we ball. 360 no scope, you know? Like, sometimes we just blow them all up. Target all three. Chain. Chain book. Target Hyunlei. So, that'll blow up all three of his back row. Chain Dust Tornado? Brother. <laughs> that is so unfortunate for this guy. That is so <laughs> unfucking fortunate. He does not have another card. Oh my god, he had another Fiendish Chain. Wait, he could have chained the other Fiendish Chain. He could have chained the other Fiendish Chain. That would have worked. I mean, it would have been the same outcome, because then he would have just been stuck with two Fiendish Chains in play. So this puts him in like kind of an awkward spot here. Um, I think it's just swing, bounce my Emmer's Blade, and then hit directly and leave the full Helm Knight in play because he can defend. 
with his negate attack ability. So, um, we are not as ahead as we should have been, despite resolving a Hyunlei for three and a Gotham's E-Call, which is a little annoying. Um, and this Morphing Jar truly is terrible. I think I'm going to side it out this game. Um, particularly because it looks like my opponent's playing four trillion back row. What is he going to attack here? I mean, this is... <laughs> Full Helm Knight is really good against Grand Mole, because it just negates the attack, and then I can bounce Full Helm Knight and get used out of the negate attack again. Uh, how does Hyunlei read when this card is Synchro Summoned? Well, we don't have another Hyunlei, sadly. Otherwise, I would just do that. But I guess we flip that boy. Flip Summon Hyunlei. Uh... Can I win the game this turn? Hold up. If I mind control, if I mind control, make bionic, normal summon, bounce, bounce, normal summon. Yeah, I think I can win the game this turn. So mind control, take Grammel. Grammel is pretty good against us, normally. But I think in this instance, we were just so far ahead that it just didn't work out well for him. All right, cool. We took the Grand Mole. Now, what do we do? Oh, Bionic. That's right. <laughs> I planned it out. I planned it out, ladies and gentlemen. But as you can see, we'll start off with Bionic. Pitch Morphing Jar. Because that's the best Morphing Jar is going to get for us. All right, it's got a book. That's fine. I can go normal Raggy Gura, add back full Helm Knight, attack, attack. I think that's pretty safe. He's in a situation where he has to answer both of our monsters. Next turn, if he doesn't answer all of our monsters, we can make an arm. So we're probably just winning this. D prison, sure. All right, not great, but not terrible. Good thing he chained the back row, you know? All right, do I have game this turn? That's the real question. I think I might, but I think, <coughs> pardon me. I think that that's kind of silly. Wait, do I have game this turn? Arm plus. I'd have to normal this, make arm, bring Ragagura at back full home night. I don't have game this turn, I don't think. Because arm 2043. So I think the best play is just flip this guy and just send it with both. If he has mirror force, then like, all right, you know, you got me. Cool, yeah. No, that's, that's chill. Kind of fuck with this vibe here. That could be Torrential, Bottomless, uh, Nether Dust Tornado, Space Typhoon, something like that. Probably just set the enemy controller and pass. I don't really want to play into Torrential or Bottomless. I want to keep these three cards in my hand, just because they seem good. Um, also because, like, I can just brown up win the game now. So let's start off with Brownick. Pitch Emerus Blade, target that card. Okay, cool. That just worked. Bionic. Pitch Emerus Blade, target that card. Normal Full Elm Knight. Synchrono Armory Arm to play around. Gores, equip the Armory Arm and attack for 3300. That should win us the game. Looks like the opponent has a metric fuck ton of back row. So we're going to go with the Royal Decrees. I'm going to side out the Jar and the Solemn. Keep it simple. Do we need anything else? Trunade sounds all right. Dust Tornado, all right. A woman? I don't even know what he's playing. He just had so many trap cards. He had like Fiendish Chains, Dust Tornadoes. All kind of narrow, weaker options, I would say, than like the removal options. This hand is bad. Like really, really bad. So. What will we need to make it good? 
even rescue cat doesn't make this hand good and that's that's what i don't like here we have the forbidden combo of upstart cold wave that being said i don't think we blind typhoon i think we upstart first if it was a regular deck we'd blind typhoon before upstarting because i'd want to hit the card that i want to hit what's it called i lost it i lost my thoughts Let's say Gotham's and Pass. Um, I'd want to hit Dust Shoot before I upstart, basically. We need cat access. So we have Sangin, Monk. What else do we have? Oh, speak of the devil. There he is himself. I think we win. I think we have Cold Wave Cat, or Cold Wave Monk Cat, Fall Troll, and I think it's just over. Does he have a stop for this? No, he doesn't. All right. I mean, what are we discarding now? Probably want to keep Typhoon. Probably want to keep Mind Control. So I guess we'll discard Book. GG's. GG's. So what we would have done, I'm going to play it out. I'm going to pitch Book. He probably should have waited to see what we did. So I'm going to pitch Book, get Rescue Cat. This is just for you guys. Send the cat, get two herbellums. Special default roll. Synchro into Arcanite Magician, of course. Activate fall troll. Bring out the herbellum. And this is 8,000 damage. And that's that. And we win the game. So Cold Wave Monk spell fall troll is game on no monsters. That being said, I kind of want to see what my opponent was playing because we didn't really get a chance to see it. I'm curious. I'm just curious. I just have curiosity. That's all. Why would he ask me if I was playing Defeater? That was a confusing game. That was a really confusing game. What in the fuck does this do? Send one face-up Neospatial monster you control to Graveyard. Special summon one level 4 monster with the same name from your extra deck. Wait, with this same. What? With the same name. Send one face up Neo Spatial monster you control to the graveyard. Special summon one level four monster with the same name from your extra deck? What? Am I reading this card right? I don't understand what this does. Hold up. Neospatian. Marine Dolphin Twinkle Moss. So this card's name is also treated as Neospatian Aqua Dolphin. Okay. This card cannot be special summoned except with next. Once per turn, you can discard one card, look at your opponent's hand, select a monster card in it. Destroy it. Okay, that sucks. What does a Glow Moss do? This card's name is also treated as Glow Moss. This card cannot be special summoned. When this card attacks or is attacked, draw one card. Reveal that card and based off of on it based on its type apply the proper effect. Monster and the battle phase. Spell, you can change this card's attack to a direct attack. Trap this monster has changed to defense position. Okay. So what my opponent's trying to do is summon Neospatian Twinkle Moss, draw a bunch of trap cards, and hope to overwhelm the game with card advantage. Building his own little like Infernity guy. Who's the Infernity guy? You know the one. Where is he? Where is he? This guy. Building his own Infernity Randomizer. That's what he's trying to do. There are much better cards to do this, though, in the format. I would say Agent of Creation. Mercury is actually a really solid card for this type of control deck where you set five. Uh, once turning your turn, once per turn during your standby phase, if you control this monster in your monster zone, had no cards at the end of your opponent's last turn, draw one card. This card is fantastic for that type of deck. You summon it, you, def you set five, you defend it, and then you draw two cards every turn. And it's pretty good. Um, also, it stacks in multiples, which is pretty cool. Then, um, you've also got Desikuda, which is <coughs> another card that does this type of thing. And then if you're playing a bunch of tra uh, counter traps, Battle Artemis, of course. But those are three infinitely better options than some Glow Moss garbage. 
And you can still play Grand Mole in those decks as well, although Grand Mole does conflict with the Agent of Creation. I forget which one it was. I forget which one it was. Anyway, moving on to the next match. That was just kind of a demonstration of what X Sabers does. Um, thankfully, our opponent applied like no pressure for two whole turns, and we were able to just draw into Rescue Cat access, so that was nice. Can't complain about that. I think if we had like like I said like two like two or three level in an area bees this deck would be so good. All right, we got Beast King underscore twenty three. Didn't I play this guy recently? I feel like I played this guy like recently, maybe in like yesterday's video or something. The name seemed so familiar. <coughs> Pardon me. I remember him picking Rock again. Interesting. He's changed his game. He's changed his game. Dang. Rock, paper, paper. What a weird combo. Kill me. Anyway. I think it's like... Frustrating. You know? I think it's frustrating to lose rock, paper, scissors. I wish it was just a die roll. This hand is... Not good. This hand is on the verge of unplayable. But it is... As of right now, it is not good, and then it is, like, close to unplayable. Set one monster. Cold wave. Please, fucking God, give me a false roll. Alright. I'm gonna get owned by brain control. Sang and surge. Alright. What's it gonna surge? Whatever it is, it's not good for us. I think Sabres is good. I mean, good enough to win some side events. He's playing fairies. Okay. He didn't set any back row, so he might have a sweeper for this, but I kind of just have to play it to defend myself from getting run over because that sucks, and I don't want that to happen, so... I'm playing level in the area B here, wishing this was a true nade, but alas, he has the sweeper anyway, so we forced it. We played our power card. He played his power card. Here comes the alchemist. Hopefully he misses. Please miss. One time for the fans, please. Thank God. I'm going to take 200, and I'm going to draw the second air bellum. That's what's going to happen in my draw phase. This matchup is, by the way, unwinnable. If the fairy player is playing even remotely accurately x sabers versus fairies is just it is impossible jesus christ okay um so if i one for one pitch ragigura get ragigura add back ragigura normal ragigura add back airbellum i guess me to two names but it doesn't even fucking matter because i don't have a full troll now what am i even trying to accomplish you know I think what I should do is I should normal Ragigura, activate the effect to add back Airbellum, and then I should activate. You want to herald it? You want to herald Ragigura? So remember when I said if the fairy player is playing even remotely accurately? My opponent clearly, clearly isn't. That was the worst Herald of Orange Light I've ever seen. My goodness. That being said, our hand is bad, so it doesn't really matter. All right, we'll pass. So this is turn one. Um, <coughs> now he'll get another opportunity to use Dialk. This is the power of Dialk, because if it sticks around, it's just fucking amazing. Why did he Herald this? I feel like there's like a collective amnesia. He's viewing his extra deck. You know, you gonna synchro? I guess he can go brown at Christia and then we lose. All right, normal Herald, brown at special Christia, GG. That should be easy. Yeah, heralding the regular girl makes sense if he has brown at Christia. That is the only thing that makes sense. He's looking at his extra deck, making sure he extra decked the Bryonic. <laughs> if you can synchro here, that's the play. Like, what What are you waiting for? Okay, set monster pass. Draw for turn is Emmer's Blade. 
He's pretty good. I can crash the Emmer's Blade, get a full Helm Knight. Oh, that sounds so good. Let's run the Gambit, bro. Attack, Dimensional Alchemist. So I was going to fuck up his Herald numbers. Yeah, might as well. Actually, he can't even Herald here. His Alchemist has to be Chain Link. Or, yeah, Alchemist is Chain Link too. That's so funny. And I'll attack with the Full Helm Knight. Don't be a DD Warrior Lady. One time for the fans. Son of a bitch. Is he not going to banish? That is crazy. That's crazy he's not going to banish. All right. Maybe he has brain control, mind control. He has three fairies now. Hmm. 1600 defense is an awkward number for the Saber deck because, naturally, our strongest normal summon is 1600 attack. So, can't get over it. Boy is thick. Or, I guess it's girl. It's fucking. Just go. Your hand hasn't changed that much. You're going to set one monster and. Oh my god. I'm him. I'm literally fucking him right now. Holy shit. I am the goat. Should I call way first? Probably. Alright. Alright. I'll call way first. Alright. I'll call way first. Normal summon rescue cat. Activate the effect. Question mark. Do you want to help? Doesn't look like he has the herald. Mmm. Awkward. Awkward. Special fall troll. Hmm. What's the plan here? Even if I make Bionic, I only get one bounce, which is kind of ass. I could go bring back Ragigura, add back Emmer's Blade, Synchro into the Armageddon Knight. I've already normal summon though. Not Armageddon Knight, sorry, Armory Arm. Let's we'll start with Arm, so. Your boy is deeply confused. Oh, we'll keep it simple, right? Activate Fall Troll. Special summon out the Emmer's Blade. This way I at least can get a couple hand rips in, right? Like if I synchro here into um what's this fucking name? I mean, I guess it doesn't really matter what I make here. I'll just go Bionic. I want to keep the one for one if possible. But. Let's bounce this. Chain Herald of Orange. Well, now you're at five fairies. So. Good luck. <coughs> I guess you had three heralds. Jesus. That's wild. Battle phase. Full Helm Knight will attack the set monster. Please be a Shining Angel. One time for the fans. Second, DD Warrior Lady. Okay. Once again, we'll be able to special back. This is not working out well for the opponent. We're going to be able to bring out the X Saber Raggy Gura. Wait, am I chain link one? I think so. I think I'm chain link one, because I'm turn player. And he's optional. We're both optional, but I'm turn player. So I think I'm chain link one. So I summon Ragigura. Ragigura effect. Add back the Emmer's Blade, I believe. Um. And then I'll attack the 
Nova Summoner with the Arabellum. He'll take 200. He'll get a summon something, but it won't really matter. I mean, he's just all fairies in the grave. Too many. Far too many. His Christios are dead. Yeah, he takes 200 damage here as well. Nice. Very good for us. Question is, should I have brought back Hammer's Blade? I think just getting the plus is nice. He plays Marshmallow. Okay, that card's terrible, so I'm pretty happy seeing that card. That makes me filled with joy. Main phase 2, I can Synchro into Armory Arm. Yeah, so Marshmallow is like almost like you're not playing a card. That being said, it's a little hard to get rid of without the Bryonic access. Um, but I'm sure we can figure something out, maybe with Mistworm. Probably. I think that's the the navigation. Now that all the heralds are gone. So this is the third turn for Swords of Revealing Light. Um which is chill. And he can't attack me this turn. He also can't play spells and traps, so it's just like, please just pass the turn back. Do I have a another Emerge Blade? I guess I don't. There's Doom Caliber. That's really funny, because now I just attack the Warrior Lady. <laughs> okay, there goes the Swords of Revealing Light. Ooh, there's the next level three. Beautiful. So, battle phase, anyone? Armory arm, attack DD, worry lady. <laughs> what the fuck? Fall troll, attack team caliber knight. I'll take my plus two. And you'll take 500. Cool. In phase two, I actually don't want to special something back because I want to have double Emmer's Blade in play. But actually, I can still still make room with Armory Arm equip. So, I think what I want to do is special something back. And I think it's going to be Regigura because he's cool. And he can add back an Arabellum. And then I can even set an Emerus Blade here and just pass. Once again, the Marshmallow, unless it converts into like a Caius here or something, I just don't really see the point of this card. It's keeping him alive a turn, but like being alive and having no progress towards winning is the same as being dead, basically. Um, that was pretty silly from the opponent, the way he navigated that. I mean, he played into, like, what, onboard stuff as well. New back row. Is that Torrential Tribute? Fuck me if it is, right? Is there a way I can make Stardust? I actually can. <coughs> I can go full helm, armory arm, and Regigura into Stardust. So you know what? I think I will. I think I will just make a Stardust. And then I can Fall Troll Activate. Bring out the Regigura again? No, no, no. We need to bring out Full Helm. And then normal Emmer's Blade. Flip Emmer's Blade. Synchro into Mistworm. Does this win the game? Maybe I shouldn't have done this. I don't think this wins the game, does it? No, it does. It does. It's 74, and he's at 73. If he has a chainable here, like Torrential, he can survive. Or if he has Gores, he can survive. That would be annoying. I'll be the first to admit. Please don't have it. All right, cool. Nice, nice. Sweet. Easy clap. My opponent heralded... Why didn't he herald the rescue cat? What the fuck was that? So weird. Wait, did I use rescue cat yet? No, I don't think I had used it yet. Never mind. Don't listen to me. But why didn't he just save one of them? Like, what? Anyway. Vortex answers Christia. 
public enemy number one. We don't have anything for Herald, unfortunately. Sometimes you'll play like Prohibition or Minecraft or something like that to nail down the Herald. Didn't really see what back row he was playing. All I saw was fucking Marshmallow on. <coughs> yeah. Let's just go with Vortex in. I'll cut something else. Probably. Actually, Jar seems great. <laughs> That's so funny. That's a weird one, man. It's a weird matchup. We don't have Light Mirror. We don't, we don't really have anything. I guess we could do Soul Release to banish the fairies to keep him off. Christia or Chaos Sorcerer. Um, but that's it, really. Cold Wave seems a little silly. It feels like I'm shutting myself down a little bit with Cold Wave because he has so many like high-value monster effects. I'd rather just have the Vortex in this matchup. This hand is okay. Like we have Rat, which gets to Cat. Roto, which gets to Full Helm, which is nice. And it looks like his start is kind of slow. So I think I'm just going to go Full Helm attack. Might have been better to set Rat or something like that, but... If I get Deep Prison here, I'm like okay with it. Or Mirror Forest, because... I have Rhoda plus Full Helm Knight to get back into the game with Book. I feel a little bit frustrated playing this game because um, I feel like it's not a quality game. I feel like the last game was, was pretty bad. Um, but we'll finish out the match at least. Set Gotham's and I no need to set Book, honestly. Just hold it. Book plus Full Helm is like your comeback play. It's like another version of uh, Rescue Cat. Because it can get two x Saber names into play. Okay, this is a little awkward. We've now drawn two Full Helms and the Rota. But I'm going to take this as an opportunity to Rota for the third Full Helm so we don't draw it. Oh, we would have drawn Fall Troll. That's awesome. <laughs> that's cool. <laughs> no, that's fine. I didn't want to draw that anyway. Copio. This is an easy 1300 poke. Every turn he does nothing is like another turn I'm doing something or pressuring damage and then eventually gonna find like some sort of OTK. Just pass. I could have gone for Urbellum there, but I don't really have a great way to like guarantee it goes through. Yeah, that's fine. Just use my effect. Time to get the attack. You gonna Herald it? <laughs> or maybe he's saving Herald for the Ragigura again. Kappa. <laughs> Alright, passes the turn. It's pretty good. Not gonna lie. How does Urbellum work? Is it direct attack? No, it's just any battle damage. It's so fucking stupid. <laughs> It's so greedy to go for it, but if he had it honest, I feel like he would have said it, you know? Like, oh, it's just so greedy to go for it, though. Nah, we can bring him back with Gotham's, right? Oh, we can. Okay, you know, yeah, we have to go for it. I think we have to go for this play. It's really greedy, but it is something. Please bottomless or something. Please deep prison or something. Oh, torrential. Oh my god. Sure. Please. <coughs> that was the nicest two for two because now our Gotham's is set up. I don't think we need to do anything else beyond this. We could play this, but I think we can just take whatever hit he goes for this turn. Doesn't really matter. Unless it's like Spirit Reaper. That'd be annoying. This is annoying, but. It's like, fine. All right. 65. Passes the turn. Never a good draw, but we'll take it where we can get it. I just don't understand what I'm supposed to do here. Because there's no, like, 
easy way through this DD Warrior Lady. So I think we're just gonna go for the normal air bellum. He might have a bunch of fucking DD Crows and shit. But I'm gonna try to double hand rip him this turn, so. Got him's Ecol. Target full home. Target Urbellum. DD Crow. Does this stop the whole thing? I think it does. Hold on, I'm gonna Google this. DD Crow versus Gotham's Emergency Call. I think it stops the whole thing. It requires that both monsters be special summoned. What is this? Will resolve without effect. Okay, that's good. So yeah, no, okay, there's the DD Crow. Totally understandable. We could go ahead and trade here. I think that's fine. I'll just attack. Let's see if he wants to honest, he does, okay. Him trading Honest with Arabellum is definitely better than him trading the Warrior Lady with Arabellum for me. But maybe not. Maybe he, like, values his hand traps or something like that. At this point, I don't really want to take more damage, so I'm going to play Swords and just pass. I'll say it. Swords of Revealing Light has been good. Like, just outright, objectively, it's been good. Okay. That's funny. But... <laughs> It forced a card. I mean, like, that's really solid. I can't even complain. Ooh, Emmer Split. So I'm going to attack into the DD Warrior Lady here, and he probably should. Probably should. Uh, bottomless. Or not bottomless. Uh, banish. Sorry. My speech is not back to normal. I don't know why. He might herald this, though. Okay. Yeah, he might herald this. Let's see. If he heralds this, then we kind of die. But if he doesn't herald this, then we're okay. I'm not sure what I want to get. I think I should get another Emmer's Blade. That was just kind of a check. Because I don't want to get a second air vellum and shut off my cat play. I don't really want to set the book of moon yet, so we'll just pass. Um, in case we draw specifically monk, we might want to have access to that. Interesting choice for him to not banish. He's viewing the extra deck again. Never a good sign for your boy. Twister is an interesting card that I think is underrated. But 500 life points does add up. Okay, thumbs up. Battle is good. It is laggy. Okay, so my monster's gonna die. I'm gonna activate the effect. Hopefully that'll be good for me. Here I get Ragigura. Ragigura activates on summon. Add back Emmer's Blade. Cool. Could have added back Arabellum, actually. That might have been better. Now that I've drawn Typhoon, I can set Book, though. That's pretty cool. Um. Hmm. What's the game plan here? He's got five cards in hand. That's really ugly. I've drawn pretty terribly, I'm not gonna lie. There's too many monsters. Uh, normal pass. He might have brain control, mind control, because they always play it in fairies, or they always should. If they don't, then they're playing a worse version of the deck. And he's just been sitting on cards the entire game, not playing, even though we have no back row, so. He's probably just sandbagging a bunch of power spells. Either way, it's annoying. Possible Christia, but... Just negate this. Pass.
passes a turn, draw for turn is Arabella. And finally, something. Second Arabella, I'm exactly what I wanted. Kappa. Okay. <coughs> Let's swing into that second honest. That sounds fun. All right, let's see it. 15 cards in, no full, uh, no full troll. One got him, but it got crowed. He's gonna banish both, okay. Still takes 100 though. I don't really see the point of attacking with Emmer's Blade here. When we win, we can go for game, like, through just about anything. He's already used Heavy Storm, right? No, no, that was the other game. Okay, we can just pass. Hmm. I would love to draw a full troll. That would be excellent. So I can just close this out. I'm going, I'm going next. He does have a lot of cards, though. And our hand sucks. We have a lot of dead draws. Cat's a dead draw. Monk's a dead draw. Sangin's a dead draw. Fucking anything that's not full of trolls is a dead draw. This is a terrible draw. I guess it's a redraw. Full troll one time. <laughs> no, that's that's what I wanted actually. Jesus fucking Christ. <laughs> All right, well, I mean, the natural natural conclusion is to make Stardust Dragon. It puts me off top deck full troll, though. I think that that's okay. His Torrential's gone, so it's just like Mirror Force, I guess. I don't fucking know. I think Stardust is pretty good. Thought Roller is also okay. Because he can't be targeted. can't brain control it or anything. But. Just make Stardust attack. If he has a deep prison here, I'm, I'm quitting out. <laughs> Alright, cool. That's some pretty big damage. I think we can just still hold the Typhoon. Unless. No, we'll, we'll set it. Because we have Stardust to protect it from Heavy Storm. Giant Trinade. Okay. Um, what's Typhoon, I guess? In case it's like a spell he set last turn to not have to discard M phase. It was. Okay, cool. Trinade goes to the grave. What? What? Giant Trinade and fairies. Not something I expected to see, but it's not particularly bad here. All right, let's just go next. I should have made Thought Ruler. Keep that in mind for the next one. Our hand was pretty bad that game, though, so it's fine. Um, honestly... Honestly, it's fine. Deck's perfect. Let's run it back. Yeah. I just need to play Cat Access and not Air Vellum and have Full Troll. I just had nothing to do that game. I couldn't get through a fucking DD Warrior Lady. Oh, this hand's fantastic. This hand is really good. I think this is like, what I would consider to be like close to the nuts. We'll see if it pans out that way, but. Uh, okay, so set Sangin, set Judgment is my immediate thoughts. But we just, we 
Diamond hands the judgment until the last turn, basically. Never mind. <laughs> All right, it's gone. He's playing a lot of back row removal. I think Trunate's not bad. It's not something I've tried in fairies before, but that's kind of cool. All right, Sangin's going to activate. Sangin's going to get us Summoner Monk. And I'm going to draw the second air bell on watch. I'm ending the video if I draw the second air bell. I want you to know that. Thank goodness. Trap does shoot. Dude, suck my balls. What the fuck? <gasps> ah! <laughs> Alright, take the monk. Or the air bell. I mean, it doesn't fucking matter. If he has herald, he's fine no matter what. Oh, he's taking the monk. He's taking the monk. Ladies and gentlemen, he's taking the monk. We get a hand rip. Let's go. I mean, he has to take the monk if he doesn't have Herald. If he has Herald, he can take the monk. Oh my god. Maximum greed. Maximum greed is to rip before synchroing. No, that's not even maximum greed. Cool. No Zand. Sick. Normal. Mind control. Give me the Shining Angel. My broken card is better than your broken card. Mind control is so stupid. They needed to ban this card when upon release. It's broken in Goat. It's broken in Edison. It's broken in everything. It's broken in Modern. Battle Fader? Are you fucking kidding me? Sure. Whatever you say. And we hold the Book of Moon because, once again, Summoner Monk off the top is live. Please. Please. Huh? Oh, honest or something? I don't even know. Did I shuffle? Hold up, did I shuffle? I didn't shuffle, did I? No, I did? Oh my god. He's gonna be so pissed. I just wanna make sure he knows that he shuffled it back. Oh my god, this is disgusting. I'm broken. Broken, broken, Arcanite. Pow, pow, pow. Pull up the Shining Angel. Activate Fultral. Bring back Arabellum. I got him's hand rip before attacking. No, mama didn't raise no bitch. But we do keep the token in case. Yeah, because I fucking just hand rip anyway. Oh my god, dude. What is Battle Fader doing in your fairy deck? I feel like Shining Angel is a Battle Fader. Oh man, he left in the honest. That's tough. <laughs> that card is so terrible. Alright. Let him cook, let him cook. What could he draw? He does have four fairies. And an honest in the grave. Alright, with four fairies and an honest in the grave, what is the play? I have to make Gotham's. And at least I can. No, oh, I fucking lose if he top decks Christia. That's insane. That is so unfortunate. <laughs> Get fucked. 
Get owned. GG. GG. Don't play Marshmallow. Terrible card. Jeez. All right, we shall be hosting. We shall be hosting. Please join my game. Should I even play another one? How long has this video been? I feel like that match took forever. That match took so long. Good luck, have fun. I just felt like it was like, it took long for no reason in particular. It just took long. Because neither of us, he was not he was not playing the game and I was not drawing cards to play the game. Oh my God. Please don't Rota for a good card. My hand can't deal with that. Please just pass. Come on, man. I need cold wave one time for the boys. Cold wave for the boys. Please cold wave one time for the boys. Oh, he's playing fuck ass frogs. Wait, hold up. We should have a good matchup. We just sandbag. What is the sand get search here? Can we clear this somehow in a way that's meaningful? Or do we just summon full helm? I feel like I want the full helm in circulation. I don't think Sangin gets anything here that matters, so I'll just summon full helm pass. Let's see, this could be bad. He could just like Caius me. It's like, okay. But at least it forces Caius. Eh, it's not great, is it? Especially if he's able to like pitch special swap, something like that. Yeah. He pitched Substito, which means he has another one. I guess. I don't know. Hmm. Had we gone first this game, we would have had an interesting play. I think. Swap Frog, Bounce Stratos. There's a play he can make main phase two after he forces the full helm negate. He could even just do it now. Yeah, he's got Caius. I don't like this play from him. I like bouncing the Caius instead of the Stratos. But go off, King. There's a trap card, too. Oh my god. Okay, I'm over this game. I'm over this game. That was fucking bullshit. Alright. Um. Gabe did not side a single fucking card for frogs. So I have to bring in all this mediocre shit. Why would he do that to me? Why would Gabe do that to me? You know? <laughs> nah, just kidding. Morphing jar. Morbing jar. What's the game plan in this matchup even? So just find Monk and <coughs> ODK? I can't even know what the game plan is. I feel like I have no good cards in this matchup. Like, Emrys Blade is bad in this matchup. And that guy's pretty important for my deck. So, like, <laughs> what do I do? I wonder if it's ever right to side out of Ragged Girl. Probably here it is. Swords of Revealing right Light seems a little stupid. Level Limit at least has a proactive effect. So one, two, three, four... Side out the jar, where I could like not bring in one of these cards, but maybe like side out a uh, upstart. I don't fucking know. I'm just gonna upstart into double fucking air bellum anyway, so what does it matter? Sweet, this hand fucking sucks. Awesome. Um. Yeah. You know, just prage. I guess. Multiple back row. It's fine. Rescue Cat's a start here. 
I think we'll get frisky with Emmer's Blade. Like, I'll attack here. I need to start chipping him towards an OTK. Pass. I don't want to commit too much to the board because the frog deck can play sweepers, so. Dude, what the fuck is this? This is unplayable garbage. Please Phoenix wing me or something so I can draw four Emmer's Blades in the same fucking game. Please do it. End phase tie from the call. Sure, good job. You hit the call. What am I playing? What frog deck has five back row? Huh? Am I like seeing this correctly? Sure. Take 13. Why would he dust tornado there? I don't. Why would you not do it at any other moment? <laughs> anyway. Uh, yeah, this morphing jar does seem really bad. I think it's like not a good card in this deck at all. But my opponent is so low, it doesn't even fucking matter now. Like, he's gonna have to start spending resources on. Like, this isn't even good. He's gonna start spending resources on this Amorous Blade. He might have to super poly the Amorous Blade, which would be really funny. Unless he's got a tree worn to Discord, and then it's not very good for us. The real question is what do we get with this? And I think it's full helm. Strato search. I mean, he might not even attack. Which is chill as fuck, honestly. Who is messaging me? I am not answering it right now. Dude, this video has felt slow. This video has felt violently slow. I wonder if it's like DB issues or something like that. Yeah, yeah, that's fine, yeah. That's chill. Strato search is chill. Oh, you get the Prodigy. Okay, you got the Prodigy. Nice. Man, I wish I had Saber Hole for this matchup. He's gonna attack. I mean, I guess he figures I can just crash anyway. So it doesn't really matter. But... Hell, man, that's pretty cool. For me, at least. All right, well, force the mirror force at least. Battle phase, attack. Compulsory on the full helm knight. I'll think here, make him think I have a solemn. He definitely thinks the last one is a solemn now. I'm gonna set an Emmer's Blade because I have 14 of them in my fucking hand, so. Feel like that's what we should do. He's gonna sack for Caius. I'm gonna chain bottomless. Yeah, and we're gonna be good to go. We're both chilling, we're both vibing. We know he has evil guy, three unknowns. Oh my god, if only, if only he didn't have 69 back row. What the fuck is going on? All right. See, the issue is he has fucking evil guy monarch, so, like, is it right for me to just run it? I mean, he has so many fucking back row. Like, way too many. I don't like how many back row he has. Whatever. 13, bitch. Take 13. Fucking take 13. Get poked to death. Pass turn. I'm gonna Hyunlei him next turn. He's gonna special, sack. This doesn't matter. I'm gonna heal my him. Oh, too little, too fucking late, man. Normal full home night. Battle phase, attack. Show me your battle track. Mirror Force. Awesome. So, what do I do? Do I enemy controller or do I. So if I enemy control to take, he drops a 14. I hope to rip brain control. If I mirror for if I let this die, yeah, sure, that's fine. Um, I can set 
solemn and pass. I just need to draw another full home knight, I guess, or fucking any monster in my deck. And I can run it over with solemn backup. This game has been eight. I'm not gonna lie, this has been a miserable experience. I don't understand how my frog opponent drew six fucking trap cards, but that's chill. It seems like bad deck building. I feel like you would just get torn apart by a reasonable hand here. Rat. Okay, that works. Just fucking works. All right, sick. We're gonna go rat. Normal summon. Battle phase. Attack. Fucking enemy control of your shit. Defense position, bitch. Fucking get owned. Main phase two. I want to one for one back my full helm knight. That's it. I just want full helm knight. I want him. And I think Morphing Jar is terrible. X Saber Ragged Girl. Wait for me to target. Wait for me to target. I'm going to target Ragged Girl. No, I don't have Ragged Girl. What do I have? Do I want Emmer's Blade or Full Helm? Uh, Full Helm. Alright, 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 alright. Okay, okay, cool. You got me, you got me. Chill, 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 chill. Alright, pass. No more fucking back row. Please. Please. <laughs> Pitch special. Shit, I... Miracle Fusion, Miracle Fusion, GG. Sack for Caius. I mean, I died a Miracle Fusion if I saw him, but I died a Miracle Fusion anyway. It's all solemn. Yeah, all right, GG's, 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 GG's. Well played. Well played to my opponent. He drew well. Well done, well done, well done. Um, what do I think about the list? Morphe Jar is terrible. I think it's fucking awful. Um, I really liked Enemy Controller. I really liked Swords of Revealing Light. I really did not like drawing multiples of a lot of these cards. I'm gonna be honest. Um, drawing too many monsters was bad. I wish there was a way to like mitigate that. Like, I wish there was a way to Basically, either uh, always have a fall troll, like, cat sort of line. Like, have less of this somehow while also still having enough to support G-Call. I think the awkward part about this deck is it both needs to support G-Call and fall troll. But the cards necessary to do both are, like, a little bit different. Like, Summoner Monk doesn't do anything once cat's, cat is used. And cat fall troll doesn't do anything even on its own. Like, you need so much for cat fall troll to even be good. Uh, so... I'm big full Helm Knight pilled. I think this card is fantastic. And I think it's like one of the best uh, tuners in the format. And it's highly underrated. So I think that there's definitely something here to full Helm Knight with the five ways to switch the opponent's monsters to defense. And I could definitely see this deck like doing well against like Black Wings and shit because that matchup is incredibly easy. Um, but yeah, I don't really like... I mean, the Monk was cool. Monk, Monk Fall Troll being an OTK is kind of cool. Or Cold Wave Monk Fall Troll with Spell. But that's... You know, that's fucking Exodia, you know what I mean? Like, I might as well just sandbag till I draw Exodia, because it's a four-card combo. It's like, what's the difference between that and, like, one more piece of Exodia? In fact, you know what? It's got me, it's got me thinking. Exodia. Exodia. Forbidden one. I'm gonna play a random game with Exodia. <clears throat> Why? Because I fucking can. Alright? We're just gonna do it. I'm a Sari. Alright, he's that guy. What is he? When his card is sent from the field, the graveyard. You get a search. Alright, sick. Sanguine. Alright, sick. I'm literally going to play the same deck, but instead of Fall Troll, Monk, Airbellum, I'm going to have the five pieces of fucking Exodia. You know what I mean? I'm going to... This is what it's going to be. I'm dead ass right now. I'm dead ass with you guys. I'm fucking dead ass. I'm going to show you. I'm going to show you something. Alright, level limit. Area B. Alright, gravity bind. All right, fucking torrential or whatever. Book of Moon. Fucking Book of Moon, bitch. All right, what am I? 
What are our other draw cards here? <laughs> uh, this sounded better in my head, all right? But Emmer's Blade can deck thin by three. It's like a tune table. All right. We got Emmer's Blade. We'll put um, put some other stall cards, Messenger of Peace, fucking Swords of Revealing Light. Oh, Legacy of Yadagrasu. Creature swap or something. Maybe I can give someone a piece of Exodia. That'd be kind of funny. And then, Jar of Greed. What, how else do we get into these guys? There's got to be a way to search them. There's got to be a good way to search them. Besides Sangin, obviously. Uh, do I have a different Exodia deck? I guess I do. Let's take a look at this. What's in this? Oh, Accumulated Fortune. That card's pretty good. Threatening Roar. Huh. Royal Oppression seems good, actually. Yeah, Royal Oppression seems really strong. All right, let's try that. Royal Oppression. Solemn. And... Mask of Darkness. A couple of these, maybe? Maybe like one, maybe like two, perhaps. Could be like Dekoichi too, something like that. Maybe one accumulated fortune, Space Typhoon. Could be interesting. All right, whatever. You know, we're running it. We're fucking, we need the synchros and the release date. And it's gonna be all the ones that you synchro into. Sometimes you just you be playing decks and you're just like I'm I'm done. You know, I'm I'm over. It's over. It's over. It's it's done. It's I have cooked. I have cooked. Cottoms, Mistworm, Guy. Can I make Dark End? I don't think I can make him. Uh Thought Ruler is probably good. Iron Chain. Double Chimera Tech. Maybe Gaia Knight. Armory Arm, that's what it is. Armory Arm, I'm gonna synchro with an Exodia piece. I'm fucking, I'm making it happen. All right, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. Trap does shoot, because it's broken. And then Breaker, because he's broken. Oh, if I side Breakers though, I gotta get, um, I gotta get, Arcanite, and I don't want to side Arcanite. We're gonna go with Trap Stun because it's a way to stop my body as a shield. Or not my body as I want to side my body as a shield, but we're gonna go with Trap Stun because it's a way to stop uh, deck devastation virus. And that's what like the sideboard plan should be. Um, Dust Tornado, maybe. I don't know. What's a way to like make people stop attacking you? Mask of Restrict, <laughs> like this type of stuff. What is that one card called? Um, shit, <laughs> I don't know. Messenger of Peace, that's what it was. Messenger of Peace, Enemy Controller. All right, side one of those. Consecrated Light, seems easy. And Something else. We need more floodgates like Consecrated Light. Fossil Dino. He seems good. He's like a Regeki. Mirror Force seems pretty good. Maybe over Dust Shoot. Yeah, Imperial Iron Wall. Oh, hold up. Let me cook. This is this actually seems good in this deck. Let's cut a Creature Swap for an Iron Wall. And then I'll main outside another Iron Wall over a Messenger. No, 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 this is it. This is the one. This is XX Zodia. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you guys already know. I've, I've devolved. I've, I've, everyone who sticks through to the end of the video, I'm gonna start doing this thing where I just like do something crazy at the end of the video, like play Exodia X Sabers. This is like XX Girlfriend. Why is no one, uh, no one playing? Where's, where's the duelists? 
I'm saying, where's the duelist? There are no duelists. Are there any duelists? He types in Discord. There we go. Chaz24. Good luck. Have fun. I apologize if I beat you with this abomination. But if I win with this, but I couldn't win with the other X Saber, I think there is something wrong in this world. You know, there's something cruel. I should have played Gold Sark. I'm dumb as shit. <laughs> Fucking. All right. We'll make it work. We'll make it work. We got a way to search an Exodia piece. We got Torrential. I think that that's pretty clearly... I didn't even extra deck Hyunle because I'm stupid. But whatever. All right. Let's see what the opponent's about. Let's see what he's on. Let's see what he's doing. Stratos. Shit, all right. That loses to Messenger of Peace. He might be playing the mono lose to Messenger of Peace deck. Oh, I think he is. Fuck yeah, dude. That's so good. All right, Sangin, let's go. Do something for me, Sangin. Sangin's gonna get me the left leg of the Forbidden One. <laughs> I need to put the fear of God in this guy's heart. All right, Book of Moon, interesting. I right, just pass. I don't got nothing to do. Please summon the alias. Please just fucking play into Torrential. No? Alright. That's another draw phase that I get for some reason. Oh my gosh, we're so close. Ladies and gentlemen, we are so close. Let me tell you. We are so close. I guess I'll set Royal Oppression. No, I don't want to set anything. I can... Oh, this is so bad. It's bad he didn't summon. I don't want to give him a spark target is the thing. But I, I don't think I have a choice. I think I have to give him some sort of spark target. I think Royal Oppression is the worst card in my hand, so... I'll give him that as a spark target. He's going to play a card this turn. Like, he's, he has to play a card this turn. Yeah, see, this is what's going to happen. I'm going to Torrential here. He's going to Spark, yeah. Okay. But this is fine. This is fine. This is fine. Yeah, that's chill. That's chill. Um, It's bad, but it's like, it's chill, you know? Because now that's a Spark gone for Messenger. Oh my god, this is the perfect matchup for Messenger of Peace. That's so funny. Oh my god. He doesn't know yet, but I could I could tell him, you know? I, in a way, I could tell him. But am I trying to win by attacking, or am I trying to win by vibing? I guess is the real question. And the answer is vibing. That is the real question. That is the real answer, is vibing. He could hero blast me, though. That is really cringe. Legacy of Yadagrasu. Where are my Legacy of Yadagrasu? What the fuck, bro? I'm trying to draw my Legacy of Yadagrasu. But not yet. I want to thin my deck first. GD Warrior Lady attacks. What do you want to do about this? Huh? You want to banish it? You want to banish it? You going to banish? Oh, he's going to banish. <laughs> okay. I take those. That's good for me. That's one more dude I don't have to deal with. You think you can fight this? Ah, oh, shit. I should have. I should have waited on the Emmer's Blade. It's all Gucci. We got Messenger of Beast. And we got a pass. He could poke me with Honest. That is annoying. And face Hero Blast. Go off, King. This creature swap is terrible. This should have been... Um... Oh, Typhoon. Okay. So he has Typhoon. Alright. That's interesting. What does he mean by this, though? Alias. 1900. All right. Sets the spark. Sets the hero blast. Swords of revealing light. Trap dust shoot. 
dude, this guy's drawing perfect for my matchup here. All right. Take your pick, bro. I don't love this circumstance. I'm not going to lie. I don't love this. If he takes an Exodia piece, it's actually really annoying. <sighs> okay. No, it's chill. It's chill. Yeah, I should be playing Gold Sharks, though. It's really stupid. It's chill. It's chill. I'm vibing. I'm vibing. I'll give him the full M Knight. I don't even care. Actually, giving him the full M Knight seems stupid. I'll just sort of reveal light. I got infinite time, bro. Pass. It's turn one. Gemini Spark. Bro, dude, double Spark Typhoon. Oh my gosh, I deserve to draw. I deserve to draw level limit area V. I deserve it so badly. I deserve to win this game. This is bullshit. This is fucking bullshit. Please summon ocean and then die to my X Saber full home night. Please make an absolute zero that I can steal. Please. Please. Oh, this is fine too, I guess. Just pass. Just pass. Just pass. Just pass. Just pass. Heavy storm. Oh, I don't play it. Upstar Goblin. Okay, Pog. Pog, Pog, Pog. Upstar Goblin. Son of a bitch. <laughs> okay. No, it's chill. It's chill. It's chill. It's chill. So, I think the play is to go... Set... Full Helm, Creature Swap, and see what he's about. All right, you can have the Full Helm. And then now, I swing, bait the Hero Blast, book the Ocean, D-Prison. Oh, that's perfectly fine. Set, set, pass. He miracles away the full home knight. No, he's just going to attack me. Yeah, he knows better, yeah. He drew good. He drew good this game. I've got a luck or noob, and I didn't draw any of my six draw traps. So, that's going to be that. We'll go next. We'll go next. We'll go next. It was close. It was close. I think we have a game plan, though. I think we have a good game plan. I think my body as a shield is pretty good. I'm gonna message him. I'm gonna message him. Why are there two people named Chaz? I didn't want to finish the match. <laughs> I didn't want to see XX Odia. All right, all right, wait, 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 let's perfect this. Let's cook, let's cook, let's cook. Hold up, hold up. Let me cook. Gold Sark. Hear me out. Got one of these, couple of Gold Sarks, all right? Couple of Gold Sarks. I'll cut, I don't know. We need other ways to make people not attack us. I think we need multiple messenger of peace in the main. I think I need to cut one of these other cards. Um, one of these X Saber cards. Maybe Amherst Blade. I need to cut a Book of Moon, maybe. Or a um, Dark Bribe, maybe. Skill Drain, possibly. Skill Drain doesn't seem too bad. Necro Valley is not too bad either. What's like another way we could draw cards? I think Reckless is a way we can draw cards, but it's not ideal, you know? 
Rota deck things. Is there another way to, to draw cards off? I, we could play just deck Hoichi. I just straight up doesn't seem too bad. I am do need to be careful that I have all these darks in my um place, but no um I have consecrated as well, so maybe I will side Dragon Capture Jar. If we can stick one of those bad boys against dragons, we might win. Straight up. Alright, let's run it. Let's run it. He didn't want to see XXodia, man. He didn't want to see it. Embarrassing. Embarrassing loss for the opponent. Counts as a loss because he left. I'll just say it. Currently undefeated with XXodia. I obliterated my opponent by him quitting out. That's how it works. <laughs> Make damage? Oh, let's go. Good luck, have fun. Picking paper. Dude, I have lost every rock, paper, fucking scissors in my entire life. I don't understand it. I just don't understand it, genuinely. Oh, this hand is good. Where why why do I not draw the draw traps ever? I play six. I play six. What the fuck? <laughs> Stop! Stop having this card. <laughs> Go. <laughs> He's typing out the full name. Left arm of the forbidden one. Comma. Right leg of the forbidden one. <laughs> Think. <laughs> well, it's either right leg or left arm. I can't really decide. <laughs> so funny. It's Sangin. 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 Take Sangin. I have no trap cards. This is... What? Take Sangin. <laughs> what do you mean? <laughs> this is sus. Just take Sangin. <laughs> There's nothing to think about here. Left arm? Bro, Sangin is left arm. Gold Sork is left arm. <laughs> Bruh. Watch this. Bait the Raiko. Flip it. Hamster. Uh, it's in defense. And it does activate. Because it's mandatory. Oh, that's awesome. Alright. Well, he gets Raikou. If he has Kai's, I just lose. That's fucking bullshit. Don't shoot his cringe. I'll say it. I'll be the first. I'll be brave. I'm braver. I'm braver than the Marines. Saying it. Rota. Also cringe. I play this card and it's cringe. I should have gold star. Why didn't I gold star? Oh, because I don't want to show him. I'm going to concede this game, but I don't want to show him more of my deck. Master Runners are no traps. Bruh. I just want to see what he's playing first. We'll see what he's playing and then we'll concede. Oh, he's playing Value Turbo. Why would he... Why would he... Search Necrovarna? I guess because he's pitching it anyway. He's going to try to go for like an OTK. Alright, we're good. We're, he's on Value Turbo. Alright, he's on Value Turbo. Easy. Just like Iron Wall him. Trap's done. He has the deck dev, so we'll put in this... All this bullshit. Consecrated... Fossil Dina. No, we'll just put in these cards. Cut Royal Oppression. These cards are all good. Pokemon Moon seems bad. Just cut all the uh, X Saber stuff. Oh. Yeah, Mask of Darkness seems good too. I don't know. We just didn't draw any of our good shit. Man, that's fucking annoying. I'll say it. It's just fucking annoying. What is this? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So let's go with 9. And vibe. Alright. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. Very, very nice. 
So we can bait heavy storm by going set legacy, set legacy. And I want to keep iron wall, I think, in hand. Yeah. <coughs> I'll just set the legacies for now. I just want to bait destructions so my cards actually do something. He opened dust shoot again. Jesus Christ. He did. Wow. That's crazy. Um, I'm going to chain Typhoon in case he has mind crush. Okay, we hit the solemn, which is nice. Cool. Well, maybe I should play Gorgs in this. That'd be kind of cool. We're pretty far off from winning, but so see. So there's that. We get swords set too. I'll just pass. I'll chain both. Draw one, draw two. Pretty good. I think we made out of that all right. That's not very good for us, but we can run it over. He hit Plague Value. Wow, dude. If only I was that good. God damn. All right. Uh, Consecrated is pretty good. Once we clear the card trooper, Consecrated might win us the game. Straight up. Um, I think we swords first to see what he's got. Flip it. Ryko. The effect does activate. Pops the revealing light. All right. Mill three. That was another value. That's fine. We have iron wall, so there's that. We'll go emissary, battle phase, run over the card trooper. He'll take 1,200. He'll draw a card. Main phase two. Set, 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 and pass the turn. Okay, cool, cool, cool. We kill the Ryko, and then we get the Consecrated Solemn, and then and then we win. And then we straight up just fucking win. All right, cool. Armageddon Knight. That's fine. Mm, he's in Sirocco. Sirocco, Sirocco, Sirocco. Yeah, I got the iron wall. No. No. <laughs> Either player can banish guards. No. No banish. No banish. If he goes brownic, we saw him. No problem. No problem, bro. No problem. No problem, no problem, no problem. Didn't realize I flipped the card that I was obviously going to flip. Passes the turn back. Beautiful. See, this is what we wanted here. Battle phase. Run over the Raiko. Main phase two. Normal consecrated. Pass the turn. All right, cool. So... We're chilling, I suppose. This should buy us a lot of time. Upstart Goblin draws a card, draws into Legacy. I will set Mask, set Legacy, switch to the Consecrated, and pass. He can't Plague, he can't Caius, he can't buy you, he can't Dark Armed, he can't Caius again. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, it's just, there's a nobleman of cross out. That's fine. Um, yeah, you can't. Go to the iron wall. Yeah. yeah. You can't do that, yeah. That's funny. All right. Let's legacy now. Draw a card. Flip. Activate. Add back legacy. 
You can flip darks. Yeah, you can flip darks. Am I missing something? Set legacy. And do I want to set one of these other cards? Eh, maybe it's like vortex or something. I don't know. What ifs? Set monster. Set back row. Set back row. I think we need to blind dust in case he has deck dev. So we'll hit one. There we go. Newish to this game? No problem. I'm happy about that. I'm happy that I'm going to get an Exodia win. X Exodia win against someone who doesn't know how to play the game. That's, for some reason, that's satisfying to me. Set jar. Messenger of Peace stops. Doesn't stop Hamster from attacking the Consecrated, so. I think this is still just like past moment. Oh, I could have switched the mask, I guess. Doesn't really matter. Uh, you realize you will discard your hand because I have Imperial Iron Wall. <laughs> I you can take back the alert. I, <laughs> that is. <laughs> That is not where you want to be. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. Oh my god. We won. Yo, what the fuck? <laughs> Run it back. Run it back. Bro had to shoot both games, and we're still somehow out here. Okay. Gold Sark, Iron Wall, a little bit of a non combo, I'm noticing. Okay, he's gonna send his monsters, sends Bayou, alright. Well, I can run that guy over, actually, which is pretty funny. And I I do think I will. He can burial when I search off Gold Sark. I maybe should have sided these out. But I don't think he knows that. I don't think he knows that. We're gonna search for the left arm. And we're going to set. And we're going to set. I'm going to pass. He might have Heavy Storm, um, which would suck. Don't get me wrong. But maybe it's always save the Iron Wall. Pitch Sirocco viewing deck sends probably Plague. Okay. Oh, that's pretty good for him. Not going to lie. That's pretty good. Battle phase. All right, so this guy's gonna activate. Does he play a level three or lower normal monster? Do you play a normal monster? That's an effect monster. <laughs> GG's, GG's, GG's. Um, Oh, that was fun. <laughs> a slow descent. A slow descent into madness. I think... I think we cooked. I think XX Zodia is kind of based. There's probably something here, though, to this actual deck. Like, it's funny that, like... You can build a deck that's just literally three Consecrated Light and Exodia, and it beats, like, half the meta. Like, that is actually insane. I think there's something to that. Like, if you think about, like, how, how like, metagames develop, and how you can build, like, whatever appropriate stun Exodia to deal with it, that's pretty interesting. Food for thought. Shout out Gabe, shout out Playtest IRL. See you guys in the next video. Peace.